Okay, everybody. So were you hit by the Google update on March 7th? There is a Google update on March 7th, and there's so much stuff that happened around it. Google update meaning, is your website ranking well in Google? Did the update make it so you rank better or worse? So today, I'm gonna walk you through basically what you need to know about that update and kind of some of the ins and outs so you can see it through kind of my eyes. And there's been a bunch of information that came out. So this video is specifically on that. So first, let me, uh, let me share my screen. So what you're gonna see here is that the March 7th update was about relevance and not about quality. So they say that a lot of updates that we make are more around relevance. We were trying to figure out the relevance of certain queries and not so much a matter of overall uh, quality overall. So this might be something where we don't think your site is actually relevant for those specific queries. Doesn't mean it's a bad site, it's just not relevant. And then when I walk you through this today, you're gonna to see that that's absolutely the case. And when I was doing my analysis, even before Google came out with um, this statement, I kind of saw that. I kind of saw that sites got squeezed just a little bit for the type of queries that they were ranking for before these really high domain authority, powerful sites were starting to rank for queries that didn't really make sense for their business model or the type of content or products or services that they were offering or content that, that they were creating really. And um, so let's, let's take a look at this. So first thing, when I see a Google update or when I see a big change in rankings, first thing I do, I always go through an uh, eight point audit, right? So I'm gonna run a site line or report. I'm gonna check Google and Bing search consoles, run some crawling tools, check out the recent links, look at the top landing pages, you know, look at SEM rush, you know, review the top keywords and, and crawl the URLs that were ranking for that and, and things like that. You know, I did that, but when you go and when you look at this actual update, and you can see right here, and what I've done is I pulled up Wikipedia, you can see this looks really drastic, right? And so that's one thing you gotta know about this update is that it looks really drastic in SEMrush, but you need to know that there's also, during that same time, a big um, tracking error issue with SEMrush, and they told us that. We reached out to them, they said they had a tracking error issue. So looking at this, I'm looking at Wikipedia, and um, I can see that there was a big drop that they had. Now I go to our website, Ignite Visibility, I can see there also was a, a drop, right? It's, it's since rebounded, you know, and, and it's coming back, but there was also a drop. But when I go into SEMrush, I'm always gonna look at the position changes report and kind of look at that history over time. And what you can see is we lost a lot of keywords, you know, kind of following that March 7th update. So I'll click into it and I'll take a look at it. And again, you know, it's like, was this a tracking issue with SEM rush? Was it actually the Google issue? And so you always want to go down and kind of spot check that. So top SEO company, they're saying that we were ranked six and now we're not ranked. So I'll do a search for that um, right now and just kind of see where we're currently ranked. We still have the number one position in the local pack, and actually, oh, we moved up to position three, and we're above a whole bunch of other stuff, and we're the highest ranked SEO company. Yay, that's what we want, right? So the rank tracking tool was kind of messed up there, right? But it wasn't 100% messed up, because what happened in some cases, not in this case, but in other cases, what we saw with the March 7th update, is things kind of flipped around. So in some cases, there was pages ranking that are not ranking anymore. Um, so instead it might've been our local SEO page instead of this page, it's not the case here, but it could be with, with other ones. And then if you take a look at, you know, other sites like this is search engine land, they also saw just a massive, massive drop and they didn't really rebound like we have. Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna get into our, our content and, and analytics next. So, you know, I'm always gonna go into analytics. You can take a look and see here, just because there was a big update and it showed things were down, we've continued to grow, right? And our traffic is going up month over month, and that's always what you wanna see, you know. 14% up in new users month over month is good, and that's because 
we've got all these different SEO systems for the way that we do SEO and aggregate our content marketing and stuff like that. We have a really good formula. But where we did lose some traffic was on this page. So we had this page, and this was a blog post I wrote like a long time ago. It's getting a couple thousand visits a month, and it's how to undo an email in Gmail or Outlook um, 365 in just a few seconds, right? Now that is an example of what this update targeted, right? It targeted URLs and pages that didn't really relate. Like we're not a tech site in that we, you know, do things with email and Gmail and, you know, much more of an IT thing, right? We are um, a digital marketing agency. So it squeezed it a little bit. Those things lost some traffic. And when I saw a couple other areas that actually did lose traffic, it wasn't just an SEM rush tracking error. It was stuff like that. So you probably lost some traffic around random terms that weren't going to get you any leads anyways, probably. Um, and I, I think that that's really what happened with search engine land too, because they're a really high domain authority site and a great site, but they were ranking for just some random, random stuff. You know, take a look at this. So father's day, 2017. Um, why would they, that's not really, they're not the right site for that. I'm feeling curious, maybe not the right side for that in some, in some ways, right? Do a barrel roll. So when you have these big pubs and they write out a bunch of stuff and they get high domain authority, they start ranking for things outside of what they should. That's what the Panda update targeted. So the Panda update, if you don't know what it was, basically there was sites like eHow and they were just content farms and they would just write you know, hundreds or thousands and thousands of articles, right? And, and just get ranked for every keyword out there and just suck up all the Google real estate. Panda update came, they got hit, they got hit again, and then they just, they just got destroyed. Google destroyed them, right? This to me almost seems like they tweaked the Panda update just a little bit. I'll stop sharing my screen now. It's almost like they took the Panda update or, or quality relevance factor like that. I don't know if it is the Panda update, and they just turned it a little bit and they said, let's, let's scale that down a little bit, make it so sites need to be a little bit more niche on subject so that they could be successful in Google. I think it's a good thing and uh, I have no issue with it. You know, you want to have a specific reason for your site and not try to rank for everything. You know, this could hurt some larger publishers like a search engine land, like a publisher that generally writes on niche stuff but then was starting to get some extra traffic from other terms like we see here, do a barrel roll. But you know what? That really didn't help their business model anyways. They shouldn't be too upset about it. When it comes to website traffic, it's all about quality, not quantity. So I don't care that I'm not ranking for anymore how to undo an email in Gmail in 10, 10 seconds or whatever it was. Um, I care about my top terms that are going to drive the most qualified personas at least to my business. So that's it for the Google update on March 7th. And I just want to give you guys an update on that. I hope this was useful to you. Can't wait to see you for the next Ignite Visibility University. Have a good day.